Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing part two of my declutter, my major, major declutter, and yes, I got a major haircut as well. My hair was like way too long. Part two is like my single shadows, my lip products, my eyeshadow palettes, a lot of the major things that I have a lot of. If you want to see part two of me decluttering so much of my makeup collection, then just keep watching. I really don't want to tackle this drawer, honestly. All my single shadows, like where my makeup collection began. These palettes I'm gonna keep. I know I shouldn't keep this Carly Bible palette. Yeah, I never use it, but maybe I will one day. But it's such a beautiful palette, I don't want to get rid of it. Also this one, I created it, so I'm gonna keep this one because I just have to. I really don't want to do these single shadows. Ugh. Okay, the ones that I know that I'm keeping, I heard this in Fringe, and then also Cornelius because that's what I've started using with my cream makeup. And then these I just got, these AOA Studio velour eyeshadows so i'm gonna keep those these elf smudge pots i used to love um but i really don't use them anymore i think i will keep cruising chic just because that is a unique shade all the other shades really i don't need okay these i definitely want to get rid of they're so pretty but i don't use them because literally dust falls everywhere whenever i use them they're like the nyc things plus they're once again they're gone sorry NYC isn't a thing anymore. I'm gonna get rid of this shadow just because I know I don't use it. And then also this shadow I don't use just because I feel like I have highlighters that are kind of like this. This Amuse Smoky Eyes eyeshadow I actually really like, so I will be keeping that. This Wet n Wild shadow is a good shadow for really dark shadows. And then Get Lucky is one that I'm also keeping because I love it even though it's discontinued. Telepathy I'm also gonna keep because that's so beautiful. And also Weenie because that's also really beautiful border i really never use but it's hers i gotta keep it this is an elixir i literally have only used this once and it's already kind of dried out i literally just got this in august and it's really dry it's so pretty oh my but it's dry like if i press the okay, cat i have to get rid of that hello goodbye which i'm pretty sure is like the same exact thing as two of things i have this is um kathleen lights oh that's not what it's similar to that one i'm gonna keep because it's like a super yellow gold y'all probably didn't even see what i just did but yeah whatever who cares <laughs> no promises this is just a nice like red color so i definitely want to keep that because i need like a nice dark red i know that i don't use lala um so i'm gonna get rid of that one this one is in drift and i don't use it once again because I don't know it's just like a confusing color like I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that so I'm gonna get rid of that this one is mittens and I love this color so much it's like a deep yeah I'm keeping that this one is etiquette and wow this is literally so creamy still um I'm gonna keep it <laughs> I can't I can't this is why I don't declutter stuff but I like literally got rid of so much already sorry I mean like yeah this amused cute twinkle shadow is like just like L'Oreal whatever shadows I don't own any but like yeah that's what it is like and like the formula is great but like i haven't even used it and this is kind of like drift like the color is like just the same i don't know what to do about it uh i think i might keep it just because i've never used it before this one is in bandit and it's like this beautiful warm brown that i also really like and love and yeah i'm keeping that this one lace i really don't use but once again it's like a, oh oh it's still so creamy because i never open it maybe i should do a look with that no yeah, i'm keeping it <laughs> this one is glow and yeah it's beautiful but i just really don't use it it's just like a cream shadow oh yes game face is like oh pure like oh yeah gotta keep that one millionaire is so unique i love that one <laughs> midnight is the other kathleen lights one keeping that one i'm gonna get rid of a maze just because yeah cricket is like the most unique shadow it's i need to do a look with that because it's like this like gray purple the last color pop shadow is hustle which is definitely hard as a rock we're gonna get rid of that and the only one i feel like i won't use ever is gala i don't see myself doing that dark of a smoky eye to put that plus it's not that shimmery so i'll get rid of that i think i will actually get rid of toast just because i have so many like color pop shadows that look like this now look at my hand it's a beautiful masterpiece i definitely need to start using these now i've seen like all my color pop shadows now to the bottom these are like all my eyeliners and stuff like that and there's a lot of things i don't use once again and this a cosmetic superhero mascara i haven't really tried i've used it like a few times i'm gonna keep that to try it out the nyx control freak clear mascara it's the only clear brow gel that i have this elf uh glitter gel i just got i love it these aoa studio starlight liners i just got and i'm playing around with them still this aoa studio go brow i'm almost out of uh so whenever i 
We're not over. I'll obviously get rid of it. Two Milani sticks I found at Dollar Tree literally three or four years ago. I never used them. I just got them because they're Milani. And this is the e.l.f. eye primer. I never use it because I don't use eye primer. And now that I do, it's the Morphe one. LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil in Seashells is like the only white base that I use. Then I have these ColourPop Cream Gel Liners and I have No Shame Workout and Call Me. I really only use these for specific looks, so I'm going to keep large and i also have mr being up top which i always use this flower beauty bullet shadow i really don't know what i think of it yet y'all probably didn't even know i had this because i haven't done a video on it i feel like it isn't as glittery as i'd like like there's chunks of glitter in it you can see the glitter but like i feel like it's so sporadic that i don't know i haven't put on my eyes yet long story short i just need to try it out <laughs> essence volume stylus i really like this mascara i'm gonna keep it the wet and wet skinny tip liner you know that i love that elf liquid liner i never use this it's probably like oh oh i don't ever use liquid liner so I'm not going to keep that. The AOA Studio Sculpting Brow Pencil. This one's in brunette. This feels very hard. That actually doesn't look that warm now that I'm looking at it, but that's so hard. No wonder it stinging pulled brow hairs out. I'm definitely going to get rid of that. <laughs> this Marc Jacobs liner, I really don't like. Like, it's not really that smooth at all. It doesn't last on my waterline, so I'm going to get rid of that. Even though it's Marc Jacobs, like, what the heck? This is the Rimmel Scandalize. Once again, this is probably three years old. I should probably just throw this away because I have a new one up there because whenever I was obsessed with it, I bought a backup, even though I don't ever use a new liner anymore. NYX Glitter Primer. Really love this. These are all my glitters. I'm going to keep all those. I really don't like the liquid shadow part of that, but I like the glitter. And the NYX White Liner. That's the only white liner. I have sorry I'm gonna use that I really honestly don't think I'm gonna get rid of anything on this side these Santi diamond eyeliners are really pretty like accent liners I'm actually gonna get rid of like these sort of eyeliners because I don't use these these two Milani eyeliners are really intense really pretty once again I got these at Dollar Tree whenever I was like hunting down like all this Milani stuff at Dollar Tree and that's the only reason I bought them and like the green one will like stain so I haven't actually ever put it on my eye just because I'm too scared it's going to stain. Those are the colors that are actually really watered out. I'm getting rid of those. Malibu Glitz Eyeliner and Waterproof Eyeliners. This blue one also stained. Wow, is that pigmented. Once again, I think I'm just going to keep these as accent liners. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the green just because I'm not going to use it. Plus, it looks very, very dried out. Also very dried out. So I'm going to get rid of those two. This Elf Cream Liner I never use. I've had for literally so long. So I'm going to get rid of that. This Ulta Brow Tint, I don't like it because it's so much product and it's really dark and it's, yeah, I don't use it. I use these matte eye stick shadows as eyeliners in the waterline also as like bases for shadows. And then this NYX Wonder Pencil, I don't use that. So I'm getting rid of that. Kelly Girl Ultimate Thing, super creamy i want to keep this the cover girl i feel like i haven't even opened this that's what it feels like i really like this mascara i'm gonna see if this is dried out and then i have this uh eyeliner from that same line it's a black one i really like it but that kind of looks crusty and i really feel like it flaked on me this purple liner from clean color uh like i mean like i used to use but no i don't ever use that anymore and then these like i really like they're so so creamy and i feel like these are really good accents so maybe i should start doing that i'm gonna give those another chance and then these glitters i've never used in here this one i have it's so pretty i'm gonna keep it just because i don't have any glitters and yeah i might need them someday <laughs> and then these eyeshadow sticks are disgusting i don't like them i'm gonna get rid of them l'oreal silk kiss me wow is that pretty oh it's so creamy i need to use that more and then these i don't ever use but i need to use more so i'm gonna keep those here because i need them and i want them and yeah in the back you won't even see it because it's covered up but there's this thing with masters and it's like it's covered up because I don't even use it. I need to get rid of all these. Oh, I will keep this. I actually will keep this one because I really haven't given it a chance at all. But I'll make a link. I'll just keep that in there and not have anything back there because I can't see it anyways. All right. I don't ever use any of these eyeshadow palettes basically, which isn't good. So I think I'm going to get rid of these two. This is so pretty, but... The, yeah, I'm I never gonna use these. These Wet n Wild palettes I'm gonna keep because these are such good quality and I just need to use them. These LA Colors Matte Shadow Palettes, I really love them. This clean color one I had all four, but then they busted, and this was the only one I kept because it has such a unique color in it, but I just won't use it. This eyeshadow is like the first eyeshadow I had. That's why I still have it because it's like sentimental value, but honestly I don't care. I'm gonna get rid of that. This poster child palette, I might yeah, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> and these, I'm going to keep. I used to be obsessed with these NYX All on Pop palettes. I really want to use these for a look coming up. I'm going to try and start using these again because they're really good quality. This Revolution palette, I haven't played with it all because, like, the first time I used it, it was disgusting. So I need to try it out and then I'll probably throw it away because it's so bad. 
And these e.l.f. Mad for Matte palettes, I have the original one, which I just like for like cool toned kind of looks. I need to start doing like looks with them. And then the Summer Breeze is so pretty. And then also this Holy Smokes. Yeah, I'm going to keep them all. This Sweet and Shimmer palette is so cute. Literally so baby and so cute. And the shadows are actually really good in there, but I don't use it. This Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. It's so pretty. I don't ever reach for this, but... Uh, I need to start trying out like this makeup again. This clean color high drama eyeshadow palette was like the first color palette I have and it was one dollar and it isn't bad quality I'm gonna get rid of this just because I don't use it and I have other colored palettes now This was a great beginner. This was my jam. This is the essence all about sunrise eyeshadow palette I loved this so much this gold is so pretty like it's made it through like so many declutters that I do like by myself I think I'm gonna keep this just for sentimental value and if I want to do like a super golden look This is the beauty gem something but like I don't know why I even got this uh, because I knew that it would be bad quality because there's so many shadows in here but I think I just really wanted to whatever I'm not even I don't care like yeah and then this is the profusion face palette I do really want to try and play around with this again because when I use this I didn't like hate it um, plus these blushes over here are so pretty so maybe I'll try and depot the blushes and the bronzers that looks so much better this one is lip colors and goodness gracious Oh, uh, I think I'm just gonna go and do this by myself and then show you the finished product I don't mind like the wires and everything else but this is all of the lipstick I'm getting rid of and there's some other things in here too that were in this bottom drawer that are like random I just don't wear lip colors it's just unrealistic for me to keep all these my ultra matte lips have dried out and I haven't even had these two for that long here's my lipstick drawer I kind of just took it out but yeah like you can literally see everything that is crazy like I cannot believe I actually got rid of all of that sure so oh, i'm gonna sift through like all of the makeup that i've gotten rid of i'm about to bring it all on the floor and show you because i'm literally so proud of everything that i'm getting rid of i'm gonna open this bottom drawer but i think that all of this is just extras okay like all these brushes i don't use there's my backup of that my backup of this my backup of this i don't use this but i will keep it just because i am a hoarder i don't use this palette because it's disgusting wow oh my goodness here's all of the things that i am decluttering it is so much stuff two of those are like bins full of stuff right there because i didn't have enough room on this carpet i am so 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 glad i did this these are all products that i really never use and i just have held on to them just for the fun of having them because i felt like i would use them at some point but i just never use them it's just too much makeup obviously for me to use if it's this much and there's still a lot left. Wow, it's just all I can say. Once again, a lot of this will be given away, but a lot of this will be thrown away because a lot of it is what I've had since like the start of my makeup collection and that's why I'm getting rid of it because I've always held on to it because I'm like, no, this is so special to me, but like, no girl, we don't got no storage for that. That's so much makeup. So yeah, that was part two of me decluttering my makeup collection. Chong. and also the videos after this my hair will not be this short because i have like three four maybe five videos pre-filmed with my long hair so yeah i really hope you all enjoyed this video if you did i would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up it means so much to me thank you so much for watching bye